called me back almost immediately. And he was trying to tell me something. Guess what he said? Babe? Babe, I'm talking to you. Come on, babe, come on, please stop. Stop it. Yes, but I can't help it. I can't hold it back. I'd rather just let it out. But I'm still crying about the same issue. Has our issue been solved? Was it solved this month? So why won't I continue to grieve about it? Or is it not worth it? I'm not complaining. I am complaining this month. If you are not worried about this, I am worried. After all, I am the woman that is going to, to take the heat when the time comes. Do you want to tell me that none of your family members have reached out regarding our childlessness? I don't care about what they say, what they, what they think. I care about you and I. That's all that matters. No! You can't say that's the only thing that matters because that's not the only thing that matters this month. Okay. Fine. Can you just get dressed and let's go for the event? I mean, we'll, we'll come back, we'll talk about this, okay? What bloody event? Another child dedication that will remind me about my misery. I don't even know why I'm getting ready in the first place. What are you doing? Listen, uh, this one, if you don't have any shame, I do. People will keep mocking us about this thing. If you don't know, people are supposed to be flocking in and out of our house for our own child dedication. I can't do this. I can't go for these events. I can't. Claire. Claire. Oh, Good night, please turn off the light when you want to sleep. Babe, I don't I don't understand. What do you mean just turn off the light? I've been waiting for you since. Is there something you want us to discuss? When was the last time we had sex like married couples do? Wait, how do you even want God to answer our prayers when we're not even putting the effort to do the right thing? This month. We've been doing this thing now for what? Five years of our marriage, and what do we have to show for it? Listen, I'm not in the mood, okay? I just want to sleep. In your words, are you giving up on us? Are you now giving up on us? Good night, Desmond. Okay, come on now. Okay. Um, let's just try. Now, I'm not going to be too hard on you. Desmond. Something light. Desmond, I'm not in the mood. Please, I'm not. Come on, no, baby. Desmond, stop it. Okay, just the cap. This one, please. Just the tip. You won't even feel it inside. Good night. Baby. Hey. That was your day? Babe, are you okay? Last I checked, we're the only ones in the house. Right? Right. So why did you not go? I'm sorry, babe. It was just a mistake. I'm sorry. 
Don't you look okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. What about you? How is work and everything going? Fine. Just trying to round up work. Uh, you know what? I'll go down and round up work and come spend time with you. Right, I'll be waiting. Sure, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's a little smile. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Hello? He says, Yeah, I'm good. Listen, look, I need you to come over. Over the place, please. All right, look. Oh, look. Hey, Ray. Is that good? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, what are you doing for me? That was Clara. I wanted to tell her to come over for the weekend. Oh. I hope you don't mind. All right, it's been a long, long time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where is she now? She is in um, Abuja. Okay. Um, I was trying to call her to come over for the weekend, I hope you don't mind. That's okay, as long as uh, she's done with me. She has, she's better now. Okay, she can come. Okay. As long as she don't complain too, because you know you guys are like that and you always fight. I will not <laughs> complain. Anyway, have you had something to eat? <sighs> no. Uh, okay, you know what, I will make you something real quick. Okay. Sure. Just uh, get my flash. Alright, cool. Did you see it? Yeah, I'm right. Alright, I'll be down shortly. Alright. Okay? Right. You on television. What else would I be doing? Or did you invite me to make me a slave again? Come on, Clara, did I ever do that? I'm just saying so that it doesn't happen. Uh huh. You were saying something over the phone. You said you had something important you wanted to tell me when I come. So what's up? Yes, Clara. Um, there is something I want to discuss with you. Please, I need you to do this favor for me. And if you do it, I will forever be indebted to you. <laughs> Claire, wait, hold on. Just stop this, okay? Whatever it is, just tell me. If I can, I will do it. What's up? I can't bear a child for my husband. Why? I don't have a womb. Does he know? He... <sighs> that is why I want you to help me. How? He's carrying my child on my behalf. What? Claire, what are you saying? Like, how is that even possible? Like, did this one agree to this? What is this? He's not going to know. Are you out of your senses? How won't he know when his semen is supposed to be removed and deposited in my ovaries? I have a plan for it. <laughs> Claire, I don't know. I'm sorry, I can't. Clara, listen, please. I know what I am asking of you is too much. But please do it as a sacrifice for a twin sister who would take a bullet for you. I have done so much for you in the past to prove that I am not sentimental. Listen, Claire, just quit all this emotional blackmail because what you're saying is impossible. Would you rather have my family throw me out when they find out the truth? Clara, please, I am begging you, save my face. Please, for the sake of our late parents, please, just name your price, any reasonable amount, and I will pay it. <laughs> Wait, Claire, if you have so much money, why don't you ask someone else? Why me? I mean, there are lots of hungry girls out there who are willing to jump up on this offer. I want my blood to carry my child. Please. 
do this for me, please, for my sake, please do it for me, please. <laughs> Claire, you see what you're doing? You're already making me look like the evil one. Meanwhile, how did all this happen? How did you lose your womb? Do you know the story? You know what, just um, calm down and tell me your plan. How do you intend to go about this plan of yours? Hey. Good morning, Sasha. <laughs> Good morning. There we go. Wait. Hey. <laughs> Hold on. What are we celebrating? Change. Change. Change about. What happened last night? You were you were fire. Hold on. What do you mean? What happened? Oh, don't pretend now. Uh, <laughs> you're pretend. <laughs> the, the way you handled me last night, so passionate. Like, what happened? That was that was like amazing. That was a ten over ten performance. Okay. One of the best sex I've ever had. I missed my man. So that is what happened. Baby, if you missed me, keep missing me. <laughs> because that was literally the best sex I've ever had in my whole entire life. Like, you were so passionate. The way you held me, the way you kissed me. Woo! Baby, that was... Why are you sad? Babe, I just feel very bad for stabbing you of sex all this while. I'm just emotional about it. I'm, I'm sorry. Good night, Ginger. Stabbing on sex. Baby, if that performance you gave me was because of his stabbing on sex, stab me! <laughs> <laughs> I want to stab him! Babe, do you know how good you are? Do you even know how good you are? <laughs> That's what they call sex. I like sex! Hi. 
I really. Hey, if we're gonna get cold, you need to eat now, okay? Okay, let me just go mm. and brush. You don't need to brush. Huh? Let us share our back. <laughs> Come on, baby. You, I know the amount of energy I took off you last night. It was amazing. You need to replenish it. Let me start with this. <laughs> What's a babe? <laughs> <laughs> a babe and a half. <laughs> That's what. Stop. Yeah, well, Mom. Stop it. I will not lie. Don't look at me like I that. Will, <laughs> <laughs> I charge you, baby. And I adore you. You know, I I'm really in love with this new you. And I just pray I can have it all the days of my life. <laughs> um, wait. What is so special about this new me? You've made so much emphasis on it. You don't know? I don't. Well, <laughs> um, I mean, no more tears, just laughter, no more sex starvation, <laughs> smiles. Oh, wait, so now you're complaining. No, you know, no, I never complain, okay? <laughs> I like it. I just, I just pray that I never lose this. You won't. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh yeah, babe. Um, that reminds me. How far with the project you're working on? Any progress? Sure. Oh. Making progress. It's mm. cool. It's great. Oh god, I'm pretty sleepy. Mm -mm. You should know. You have to watch this movie. You're always sleeping while oh, watching a movie. Do you want us to just go upstairs? Go upstairs? No. So I no. Um, don't talking. even start. Yeah. Stop it. I have, I have energy enough. Right? No, let's just watch the movie. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Hey Claire, what's up? Sorry, Clara. You came around? Yeah. Claire is not at home if she's the one you're looking for. What about Desmond? He's upstairs. You mean Desmond is inside? Yes. Do you want to see him? I don't want to see him. You can help me tell Claire that I came around when she returns. I will. Ah, uh -huh. wait. Help me give her this, please. All right. I can still try to cover up. She's almost naked.
we need to talk. You need to wait for me outside. I want to talk here. I need to change. Go ahead. Girl, well, thank you so much for the way you dropped by the other day. I only gave them to me today. You said you forgot the other day you came. How was I even about to forget this? Claire, I've been meaning to ask you, what are you on? I don't get you. What are you talking about? I know you don't do drugs. Else, I would have thought you are now psycho well or... excuse you like come on sophie why would you talk like that what's going on why would you be so comfortable with your sister's indecent dressing or you don't see her why should i be bothered about the way she dresses we have a man in this house remember sophie she is my twin sister and not you why would you dress so carelessly sophie look my husband is reserved okay and he only finds me appealing Come on. What makes you appealing to him? Your physique, obviously. Your his spec. Don't forget, Clara is your identical twin. She possesses everything Desmond sees in you that turns him on. Unlike you, Clara is more sensual. All right. Okay, it's enough. That's okay. Can we not, you know, go further on this topic again? Please, let's just end it. If you choose not to. I'm only speaking as a concerned friend. And I appreciate you for that. How's your husband doing? Fine. I have to be somewhere. So soon? Mm hmm So soon. Just take care of yourself. Okay. Bye. Bye, it's a good time. Yeah. She left already? Yeah, she left some minutes ago. That's unlike her. She, she usually stays longer. Yeah, she had to rush off to somewhere. Okay. Um, I thought she was sleeping. Yes, I was. Then you... Yeah, I was famished. So I, I went to ask Clara to cook some something nice for me. Oh. Hungry. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm here now, so I'll just make something for oh, you, okay? Perfect. <laughs> you know, I love your food. <laughs> I love you. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> Claire, hey, I've heard you interrogating him, asking him why he came into my room as if that's not what you always wanted. Shh! Come on, the four walls of this building shouldn't know about this. Why are you being careless with words? No one is listening. Listen. You can't be too sure. However, I wasn't interrogating him. I was just trying to make sure that he's suspicious of nothing. And again, he should not be coming into your room. That is not what I want. There should be no strings attached. Okay? He has to be completely ignorant about what is going on. The more reason he should not be close to you. <sighs> <Yes>. <coughs> Clara! What? Hmm? What? I'm so excited. What's up? 
Is you in a jackpot? What? What? Tell me, what is it? Listen, I'd rather show you because what I have to say would rather be too heavy. What's that? Check it out. Yo, you drop. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. No! <laughs> no! Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god! Yes! You're pregnant! Yes! I told you! I'm a sharp shooter! Stop it! You want to just give me the position and I would score! Wow, really? Look at this now! I'm not going to run you! Listen, listen, listen! Oh my god! So I'm inside here right now! Oh my god, baby, stop it! Listen, listen, listen! Baby, you know what? Yeah, if, it's, if it's a boy, right? What? I'm going to let you name him. But if it's a girl, I have to name her. Okay, you lied to me. What? You lied to me because if it's a boy, I'm going to name him. And if it's a girl, I'm still going to name her. No, why are you so selfish, you this man? Yeah, I'm a fisher man. Oh my I'm god. I'm a selfish striker. You know what? This time you're going to go because I'm not going to let you win. Okay. <laughs> oh, don't think that thing is really too tight. <laughs> so, because my baby is in there. Baby, leave me alone. But honey, listen. Um, quick one. Yeah. Um, can I ask you for a favor? Yeah. What is it? Anything for my angel? Um, honey. Can I have a baby abroad? Why? Honey, listen. It has always been my dream to have a baby abroad. In America, to be precise, so that he or she can have an American citizenship. Oh, you are right there. So, uh, how long is it going to take? Because, you know, I don't want to miss you too much. The thing is, babe, you will have to be patient with me on this one because I'll have to leave before the baby bone starts to show. Otherwise, the embassy will not grant me a visa. Yeah, that's true. So, when do you intend to leave? In about, say, three months. Three months? Sometimes I'm not going to see you for almost a whole year. Um, That's a lot. Hey, please, that is a sacrifice we have to make, please. <clears throat> so, um, should we leave you next week? Where? To Abuja, she got a job. Oh, perfect. At least she can make herself useful in this life. Babe, that's my sister's style. Yeah, that's me. She still makes herself useful. Yeah. I'm just denying it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm done. Babe, I still think that belt is too tight. No. Okay. 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 That's where the belt is. Which? Leave me alone. I hate this. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'll soon be here, please. Yeah, come in. Oh, gosh. Did you just say cabman? Yes. I thought I was dropping it for the airport. Uh, listen, I don't want you to bother about the Lagos traffic, okay? I already ordered for a ride and you'll be uh, here in no time. Are you sure? Come on, I'm not a baby. Of course I am sure. Oh, well, you are carrying my baby in there. Well, nobody said I am not. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Sorry. Okay. But well, then I'm able to say, bid you goodbye, you know. <laughs> you're, you're not a baby, you this man. Let's go. You just have to go. Bye bye. Bye to be. I'll give you the place. Oh, this is silly. Babe, <laughs> shock me. It's a baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> what else can you ask Girl, for? Nothing, my dear, nothing. Oh my gosh. I'm super excited. Thank you. <laughs> what else can you ask for? Nothing, my dear, nothing at all. So, what about this month? Girl, you need to see the proud that he cannot stop boasting about how great of a man he is. You can't take that from him, no, right? I can't. I you can't know, at all. This is right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 
Anyways, I hope you are not planning to throw a small party for his naming ceremony. Listen, I will not be throwing a party. I will be throwing a carnival, okay? I know a that, carnival. I know that Trust me, you do. I do. You know? I do. Proud mother. Thank you. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. The baby. Where's the baby is sleeping. If only Desmond will allow him to sleep. Mm, I know how he feels. <laughs> Anyways, I need to go upstairs to partake in the grace of touching that little angel. Wait, let's go. I'm you. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Oh, Clara. How are you? Hi, Desmond. Good. How was your trip? It was great. Why don't you go up and freshen up and we'll catch up later. Okay. Clara! Hey, sister. How are you doing? I'm okay. Um, you didn't tell me you were coming. Um, wait, am I no longer welcome here? Oh, come on, of course. This is your house. You're always welcome here. Um, you know, just feel free. I'll just return to what I was doing in the kitchen. Are you fine? Told me. No, you did. Why would you come to my house uninvited without permission? <laughs> wow. Really? So now I am not welcome here. <laughs> I remember just less than a year ago you were calling me begging to just show up. And now I have become a complete nuisance. How oh, time flies. Listen, you know that is not what I meant. But you should have called me at least. I lost your number. You know you're being mischievous right now, right? No, you are the one who is being selfish and unreasonable. Why do I feel so used? Oh, please, spare me that emotion. <laughs> I see. Could I leave my room? I need to take some rest right now. You want me to leave? I said you should leave my room right now. Was that really necessary? I think she was right. But she's my twin and she's a part of me. So she should be free to visit any time. Oh gosh, Claire, what are you doing this? Babe? <gasps> Babe! Hey, you're here. Uh, is everything okay? Are you fine? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm very fine. Are you sure? I'm sure. I'm fine. <laughs> you sure? I'm fine. Okay, um, your food. My food? On fire. Oh my god! Hey, hey, come. It's okay. I've already handled it. But are you sure you're fine? I'm fine. Hmm. And thank you for handling it. The food. Turning it off. Thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll go dish dinner, okay? Alright, no problem. Alright, later. I'm done cooking. Are you hungry? I'm not. Why? Is it because of what I said earlier? Come on, Clara. I'm sorry, okay? I know that I overreacted. You know what you're doing. Listen, trust me, I have nothing in mind. 
Okay, it's just me being me. You know I don't know how to keep things to myself. Well, you should as well consider other people's feelings and not being selfish. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I promise you it won't happen again. Are you sure? I cross my heart, okay? You're welcome here anytime. I'm sorry. I will see you downstairs. You still awake? Um, yeah, I woke up and I was dehydrated. Okay, um, did you see Desmond? Is he not in the room with you? No, I woke up and I couldn't find him. Oh. Maybe he's outside receiving some fresh air or something. Oh, yeah. Good night. Okay, all right, good night. Sleepless night, so I went to spend time with the baby. I didn't find you there. Yeah. Did you check the restroom before leaving? I spent some time with the baby, and when I came back, he was still sleeping, so I went to the restroom for some time. I actually I spent more time than normal there. <laughs> I should have checked. Yeah, all thanks to your place. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. I know. <laughs> oh, my baby. <laughs>
And what was that for? What? What you're putting on. I beg your pardon. Listen, I don't want us to have a misunderstanding, okay? But I live here with a man, my husband, and you should respect that. You mean the same husband I was forced to sleep with so I could bear you a child? Enough, why are you raising your voice? Oh no, you want us to talk, right? So let's talk. Why are you suddenly against me reminding you how you used me? Listen, Clara, nobody used anybody. You made a sacrifice for me and I appreciate you for that, but you don't have to make me look stupid. I can only see a selfish and greedy twin sister who thinks I am a fool. Okay, Clara. Can I ask you for a favor? Can you please give my husband and I some space? It's the right thing to do considering the fact that we just had a baby. You mean my baby? No, Clara, it's my baby. Don't be unfortunate. I see. As I always thought, all this attitude is to deny me access to a child I carried for nine months. You did it for me. No, I did it for no one but myself. No. I begged you and you did it. You made the sacrifice for your twin sister. My twin sister will now see me as a threat, right? Clara, you are overstretching this thing. You know what, Claire? No problem. I'll get back to you, my dear twin sister. Sorry for how I made you feel. It really was not my intention. And trust me, I appreciate you for everything you've done for me. But the thing is, things have been weird lately and I've noticed some funny movements around Desmond. I don't want him to do a regretful move. If you know what I mean. Which of course, I know that you will turn him down. But then again, he might start feeling uncomfortable around you. So in essence, what I'm trying to say is I'm just trying to do everything in my power to make sure that my marriage works. So I have now become a hindrance, right? It's cool. As you can see, I'm getting ready to leave. It's getting late. Abuja is not a stone throw from Lagos. I can sleep in a hotel. Not when you can stay here comfortably for tonight. Tomorrow is safe. You can leave tomorrow. I've heard you. Just give me some space to decide. I will. But I just want you to know that I am sorry and I appreciate you. I've heard you. Later. I'll be leaving tomorrow. Why? Claire asked me to leave. She thinks you feel something for me. Is that what she told you? She insinuated it. Listen, you need to leave before she comes looking for you. But I mean, if, if you're leaving tomorrow, then to spend time with you. Listen, 
You definitely will, but not tonight. Yeah, you know, I just didn't want to tell you about the phone. I I got an urgent call from headquarters. They need my presence urgently. Now? Like, why would they make such an impromptu arrangement? Don't they know you're married? Okay, maybe I won't explain to them I have a baby at home, I have a wife at home. They're not even listening to me. You know, but look, don't worry, okay? I'll be back as soon as you know it, okay? I have to get there first before I can see you. I'm just going to be here alone. I'm not able. Listen. You, you, you have people around. Clara is here. The baby is here to disturb you. But Clara is leaving though. She's leaving today. Oh, I didn't know that part. Beg her to stay back. It's fine. I guess I'll just call Sophie to come over often. Look at you. You won't have options and I'm here stressing myself. I don't think I need this one. Need Babe, you need to call like like always get this out of the line number going call the dry cleaner. Stress is Can you pack my charger for me? Um, where is it though? I should be downstairs. I think it's downstairs. I think it's downstairs. Uh, okay. It's downstairs. It's downstairs, I think. Yeah. I'll check it downstairs. I'm really going to miss you. I miss you too, baby. Okay. I need to get going now. Uh, babe, help me with the bag, okay? Open. Oh my god. Hello, lover. Hi. <laughs> so, where are we going? Any good hotel around town. Yeah, how long are we going to stay in there for? Are you missing her already? No, of course I'm not. I just, just want to know. Anyway, you know what? Let's just prepare to have fun with no time limit. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to my angel once. <laughs> okay, uh. Thank you. 
Hello? Hey, Sophie. Hello, Claire. I just saw you drive out with your husband. I wanted to come say hello before you. Where? At the each... Where are you first of all? I am at home. You are at home? I've been at home all day. Wait, where did you say you saw my husband at? Who am I speaking with? Wait, hold on. Who did you think you were talking to? I thought I was speaking with Nikki, my friend. I'm so sorry. See, I'll call you when I get home, okay? All right, okay. All right. Bye. That should be Clara. Well, I shouldn't be the one to mess this period up for her. <laughs> okay, yes, marry me. No, stop joking. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not joking, I'm serious. Hey, stop it, that's an expensive joke. Listen, this one, I want to be your wife. You can't be serious, I'm married to your sister. Yet, I am the one who made you a man and gave you the only reason for you to talk amongst men? That doesn't change the fact that I am married to your twin sister. Well, it doesn't also change the fact that I am the one who carried your child in my womb for nine months. Something your dear barren wife could not do in five years. I did it in just weeks. You know what? This is not the time to talk about this, okay? Can we talk about this some other time? <laughs> there is no other time to talk about this. I want us to get married and I want it done as soon as possible. Clara. Listen, Desmond, I'll be going to Abuja and I'll be spending a month over there. So while I'm gone, you can, you know, do whatever you want to do with your barren wife. I don't care. But when I come back, I better get a positive feedback regarding my request. Otherwise, I will take my child away and you will never set your eyes on us ever again. Desmond, wait, Desmond, what's going on? Desmond, I'm hold fine. on, hold, hold, no, you're not fine, Desmond. I said I am fine. No, you have not been fine. Ever since you returned from your last trip, you've been acting weird. Claire, I am fine. No, you are not fine. I am fine, I am fine, I am fine. I am fine. I am fine. Don't you understand? He has never raised his voice at me. He did tell you how the conference went. <sighs> he said nothing about the conference since he returned. What do you think the problem could be? <sighs> Sophie, to be honest with you, I don't know. I can't wrap my head over anything. Do you think he's cheating on you? No! God, no. Listen, in as much as men cannot be trusted and I try to be careful, I don't feel he will cheat on me. I mean, he has no reason to do that now that I have a child for him. Mm. If you say so, then give him some time. I believe he will open up to you sooner or later. I hope so. I really do. I believe so. Anyway... How's your husband? He's fine. Very fine. Oh. Since he's greeting. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. But I hope you're doing fine too. Oh, yes. Very well. Great. Thank you. So you need to cheer up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll try. Mm -hmm. So I got you this. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> you are <love> <laughs>
I don't know how the devil found its way into my home. Everything is tearing apart. I don't know the man I married anymore. This is something you both can sort out quietly. It doesn't call for all these tears and unnecessary drama. And you think I haven't tried all this while? You know your husband better than anyone else. You just need to find a solution yourself. No one will do that for you. I think you're right. I just need to do that. Desmond. Desmond. What in God's name is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Do you really want to know? Yes, I want to know. I want to know why you have changed from the man I used to know. I want to know why you have chosen to torment me this way. There's a mirror behind you. I would advise you look into the mirror. And... Search, not just looking at your beautiful face or your nice hair. Search your heart and look for your conscience. Then ask yourself if you don't deserve every single thing that is happening to you right now. Why? This, why, is this, why all this cruelty all of a sudden? What have I done to you? We promised each other everlasting joy. We finally have what we prayed for. So why have you chosen to do this to me? Like, why are you doing this? Have you got no emotions or feelings for me anymore, Desmond? You still haven't gone to the mirror. Yes. You search the mirror, and you find your answer. That's the mirror. Selfish. Don't you have a conscience? Don't you have a conscience? Your own twin sister is in tears. Doesn't it melt your heart? We are two different people. Everyone accounts for their own achievements, and our successes are not measured together. And you don't want to take your twin sister's husband, right? Listen, being single is considered a failure in life, and I don't want to fail. But you're not failing. You are single. You are beautiful. You are young. You will find your own man. Oh, really? So another man deserves a body filled with stretch marks caused by carrying your child? You do not have stretch marks. Your breast is still full. You are still a fine girl. Besides, this is a sacrifice you make for your own blood. You do not tell me the sacrifices you make. Why are you selfish? Have you forgotten what you said to me in this room? Haven't I seen you naked before? Why do you and my wife keep changing places in my bed every night? I don't know what you're talking about. There you go. Acting. You should be an actress, you know. But I know. And I like it. You do? Of course I like it. What's there not to like? You look like her. You smell like her. You're sweeter than her. I mean, you're even better in bed. I'm beginning to feel I made the wrong choice. <laughs> well, destiny it was. No one's fault. I'm just curious. What do you and her intend to gain from this? We shouldn't be having this conversation. But we're already in it. Your wife is barren. She asked me to conceive for you on her behalf. Claire's barren. She's been lying to me. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on. 
Where do you think you're going? To confront her, of course. I thought you said you enjoyed what we shared. Well, those comforting I mean I don't. It means everything is going to end. Nothing will continue anymore and she's going to see me as a betrayal. Unless you were blabbing all this while and I was already beginning to fall for your lies. Well, I wasn't blabbing. And I'm not lying either. I want you. I want you even now. So what do we do? Just pretend and play ignorant and everything will work out just fine. You have nothing to lose, do you? You said you did not want it to end. Well, I never told you about this evil agenda. <laughs> You're calling it evil because it does not suit you, right? Clara, Clara is in pain. She is in pain. This would only cause her excruciating pain. Why don't we sort this out? Name your price. What do you want? <laughs> Wait, hold on. You want to pay off the mother of your only child while the barren one remains and stays treasured? I am only doing what's best for everyone, okay? You know what? No problem. I think I have a better solution that will suit everybody. I'll just take my child away so that everyone should rest. I get it. I'm a child. What? He's my son, okay? Listen, you have no legal backing over me. We are not no, married. Would you dare not touch my son? Oh, Don't really? Touch my son. We'll see about Do you that. Clara. What's all the excitement about? Yes. Please, free me with all that stress. What's, what's going on? Okay. Oh my gosh! You're engaged? I'm engaged! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Congratulations! I am so happy for you! Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. You know what? I'm going to gossip with you when I come upstairs, okay? All right, later. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> mm. Ooh, girl. Desmond. You didn't say anything. What was there to say? <sighs> my sister just mentioned that she's engaged and just give me a minute, okay? It's beautiful. Hey, hun. 
What is the meaning of the stunt you just pulled out there? Stunt? <laughs> if that's what you call it, then I'm not bothered. Who is he? You. You must be a psycho. I didn't put the ring on your finger, okay? I know. I did. On your behalf. Clara. Clara, don't push me. Don't push me. You would not like my reaction. Don't push me. I just did. Sweet boy, do your worst. But do you want me to take you down memory lane in case you've already forgotten? In you I found peace. Every missing piece in her that I desire I found in you. Let him make me forever. That makes me special. You're crazy, man. <laughs> You're nothing else. Your sexuality. And more. What? You are carrying my little tiny baby inside you. <laughs> and when you put to bed, I will grant you every wish of your heart. <laughs> and this is why this wish must be granted. I love my wife. But you said I meant a whole lot more to you than no. her. You, you are the worst mistake I have ever made in my life. You are worse than the devil. <laughs> it's not your fault. The game did not start with you at first. And I wish I never played along. Clara. You are a devil. <laughs> you are a sappet. I regret ever meeting you. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is what they always say. Clara, you are mean. Clara, you are heartless. Clara, you are the devil. I just smile because I know exactly who I am. I am just a pretty young girl who likes and does exactly what she wants without minding who gets hurt in the process. Does that make me evil? I don't think so. What is taking him so long? Hey, Sophie. Hi. Hi. How are you? Welcome. Very well. <laughs> you good. Have you been? Yes, very sit, well. sit, sit, sit. Thank you. So I've been busy all day and I decided to come around to show you your stuff. <laughs> oh, so you asked me to get you all this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Check, just check. Mm -hmm. mm, all right. Da -na -na. Oh. You asked for it. Here is it. You know, this is not. I'll take this one. 50k. It's your money. <laughs> 50k. Are you not boss lady? You are pay. So I've got some real gold here. Ah, this, this is nice. You like that? Yeah, this is beautiful. So the matching earring is there. Oh, mm -hmm. let me help you out. So it's some. Okay. These ones are still. Oh, this is nice. This is not bad at all. I know you love them. They just arrived. So, check this. Just be packing all of them. At least 500k won't be bad. Yes. You will love them. Oh, this is pretty. All these thoughts are really nice. I know. Three days. You do what? You tell her, or I do it myself. Let me tell you something. You dare not try it. You dare not. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. Don't push me. I have warned you, and I will not warn you again. Do you understand? Then I'm going to take my child away from here, and no one will stop me three days. You said you were going to tell me what the problem was before you left. Do you still want to tell me? 
this. Okay, I'm listening. I want to take a second, second wife. What? This, this one, wait, hold on. Th you're, you're joking, right? This, this must be a joke, right? I'm sorry. This I, one. I, uh, this one, no, you can't. This, this one. This, this one. so terrified on the phone. What is it? He wants another woman. Desmond. Desmond wants another woman. He said it to me. He sat right in front of me and looked me in the face and said he wants another woman to come in and take my place. Okay, you need to pull yourself together. Let's talk. Sophie, look, I have pulled myself together. Can you hear me now? He said he wants me to share him with another woman. A solution to this, right? You need to relax. Atmosphere insights have proven that you are a man. You're happy now, right? You're doing the right thing, so there is no reason for me not to be happy. Okay, you mean? You mean okay? I hope you can do with your conscience now. Like you don't cherish what you have on a platter. You're going to be having all the fun. Hmm? Are you not so worried about who the wife to be is? I can't even imagine it. You have to imagine it because it is happening. It will be more traumatizing when you find out that it is one of your finger that struck you in the eyes. How do you mean? You once told me Clara was engaged. Are you not worried about who her fiancé is? What are you saying in essence? I hate the fact that it's coming from me. But I need to save you from, from the stress of chasing shadows while the enemy is with me. Sophie, no. Sophie, no. Yes. No. It's yes. I caught them on two occasions. First was here. And the other day I called you to ask where you were. Because I saw them living on Itri. No. Sophie, no, it can be. It's okay. <gasps> no, I wasn't sure, but it can be. No, 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 it cannot be. Sophie, no. No. Just come down. <laughs> Claire, calm down. See, I am not too sure, but I believe she's the one. It's okay. Yeah. Just calm down. Oh, oh my god! No, no, no! This is very risky. She can just walk it off at any time. She won't. She can't. She's in doubt. Listen, listen to me. She won't. Okay? Even if she does, she might as well start getting used to it because she will be witnessing it more often by the time you make me a legitimate wife. Come here. <laughs>
<laughs> I knew it. Remember I once told you about her indecent dressing, but you sounded confident. What was I supposed to do? Caution her then. She carried my baby. What are you saying? Sophie, I am buried. Oh my goodness. I can't conceive. So I pleaded with her to do it for me. Oh God. How could you make such a mistake? Why didn't you let me into the plan? So I can advise. I was scared. I just wanted it to be a secret between she and I, but she betrayed me. How could she? Where is that devil? Where is she? You devil! What more can you do? Who let this dog into my room? Very stupid and silly. You're not frustrated and barren like some people. You mock your own blood over her predicament. After taking advantage of her vulnerability, your sister will not do that to you. That's what I always hear. But unfortunately, we are so different. Posterity will judge you harshly. You're never going to get away with this. Well, as long as you don't stand in my way. Because if you do, I am going to push you down a shallow grave. Now get the hell out of my room. Now shut the door. Get out! You put us in this mess in the first place. I know. Okay, and I hold no grudges against you. I was only trying to do what's best for us. No, you didn't want what is best for us. You wanted what is best for you, Claire. Your selfish self. Claire, what didn't I do to make you feel comfortable? Comfortable enough to share your deepest thoughts with me. I did everything, but no. Women will always be women. I did not want our marriage to crumble. Well, look at where it landed us. Great job. Clap for yourself. Desmond, please. Desmond, please don't do her bidding. Desmond, please, I beg you. Let, let's send her out. Desmond, please, let's not do her bidding. Let's send her out. It's so easy for you to say. That's you being selfish. You are selfish then, and you are still very selfish right now. So, if I send her out, she lives with my only child just to save your barren face. Huh? She told you? Told me everything. I know she did not tell you how it happened. I don't care to know how it happened. I don't want to know how it happened. I don't care. All I care about is my child. My child in my house, under my roof. That's all I care about. Go fix yourself, okay? I thought by now your conscience would have led you through the right path. It has. Good. Be ready for my wedding. 
you get him married? And you will be highly welcomed. So go in there and drink the tears of your bestie. And remind her I said that she is a loser and the world does not revolve around her. This is unfair. much for me to bear. And you think taking your own life will solve anything? It will save me from the shame and mockery. There is no shame in a betrayal gotten from a trusted sister. The world will listen to your story and sympathize with you. Taking your life will be ending every opportunity life has for you. You can sin against human but not against God in your own self. You just have to be strong. <laughs> I know you too well. You've scaled through many holders in the past. You see this? These two shall pass away. <laughs> you have to be strong. I don't know what else to do. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Let's go. You. We are still having a good time with your new wife, so I do not want to interrupt. Yeah, but I was one who called you. But that's not the point. Um, I need to move the things out of the master bedroom, okay? Clara needs to move hers in. Desmond, are you in your right senses? Uh, yeah, she's my wife. And I am your legally married wife. Your first wife to be precise. Without a child. She has my first child. And my only child. I need to make her comfortable, okay? So please just move your things out of the room, okay? And try not to make a mess. Hmm? Now, if possible. And <clears throat> uh, it's food ready. Desmond, I came to remind you about our third appointment we have with the counselor. Since your excuses made us miss the last two. I'm not interested. So after cancelling the previous two, you will do it again for the third time? Such a song. Uh, food is ready. Do you want me to bring it upstairs? Um, you can keep the food. I'm not eating. Why? Clara is cooking. And um, she'll be happy if I turn down her food. No, I'll we'll have yours for dinner or something. Can't has wait since mine is ready. She won't be happy. <laughs> this one, you are very stupid, I swear. Desmond, you need to warn Claire. You have to warn her. She said all manner of things, calling me names and all that. <sighs> she is only a human being. Some other person would have done worse. The reason why I don't want it to get to worse. Then why don't you just accommodate her? Desmond. Accommodate her and find peace. Both of you can live in peace and harmony. Desmond, I have zero tolerance for nonsense. You know what? Just divorce her. Are you alright? Listen, I am not asking you. 
I am telling you. Unless you want to bid me goodbye and I am not going without my baby. And besides, what will you be doing with two people who look exactly the same and you said it yourself, I am the better version. So there should be no problem letting her go. Kara, I married your sister in the church. I married her in the court. And I married her traditionally. It's not that easy, okay? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Are you the first to divorce a wife? You are not. Do you hear me? You are not. Now, you will not just come here and start telling me what to do in my house. you understand? Your food is ready. You can come downstairs and serve yourself. Focus. Thank you so much for your kind words. You are welcome. Please, if there's any need to call, you have my number. Please be safe. And don't think about it too much. God will fight your battle. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, bye. Alright, bye. Be safe. Thank you. Little bit of shame in you. And I'm not asking for too much, just a little bit of shame to put you in check. 
that you have to allow a man drop off in your husband's house when you are still married. Desmond, I almost lost my life thinking about what you're putting me through. Oh, what I am putting you through. I am not putting you through anything. You brought this upon us and upon yourself. Well, since you need a license to cheat, I'm going to make it easy for you. Just get your pen ready so my lawyers roll in the papers. You would sign it with ease. Stupid and ingredient. will never attempt suicide again. I know she asked him to divorce me. He was probably looking for something to hold on to until he saw us. I am deeply sorry. I, I feel so bad that I'm about costing you your marriage. Mm. You don't have to be sorry. It's not your fault. I'm sure he would have found another means. But to be quite honest with you, I'm not bothered. I actually need the divorce more so that I can just get out of that hellhole and live my life again. You said the mystery is normal. Do you mind sharing? If you have the time to listen. Sure, I do. So I had surgery years ago that affected my ability to conceive. And the doctor later told me that I was unable to conceive after that surgery. I made an unusual decision that is costing me my marriage. And now five years after my marriage, I'm not being able to have a child made an unusual decision that is now costing me my marriage. What decision? Home alone. You mind we hang out? Not yet. I'm still married. But you're getting a divorce. Listen, until then, I shouldn't be seen in public with another man. What about my house? It's not safe. <laughs> so how long uh, do they intend staying out? Well, most likely to later tonight. Cool then. So what are you up to? I will show you. Hold on, I'm coming. Oh, hi. Um, I wasn't expecting you. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, this way, have a seat, please. Nice house. Thank you, thank you. Um, what do I offer you? I'm fine. Are you sure? Okay, just give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay. okay. person that dropped my wife home the last time. Even if he is, how does that affect you in any way? Okay, I have to go now. See you some other time. Okay. See you some other time. So it's gotten to a point where you now invite your male friends over to my house. 
Are you now deaf? I'm talking to you. Has it gotten to the point where you now invite your male visitors to my house? Desmond, I don't need to remind you that we built all of this. So just hurry up with the divorce paper so I can sign it and get out of this miserable hellhole. Well, I, I don't know if you feel the same way about me. Listen, I like you, okay? But let's just take this one step at a time until I am formally divorced. I, I am sorry if I'm being too direct. Oh, it's cool. I understand. Talk to you later then. All right. Bye. Bye. Who is this dispatch guy? Hello? Yes, that street. Just make that entrance into that street. You see the bank there. House number eight. You cannot miss it. All right, hurry up, okay? Please, I'm standing out here. You can't miss it. These dispatch people, eh? Hey! Auntie! Auntie, how is the baby? What baby? Uh -uh. Auntie, why are you doing like this? I know that we had an agreement that after you paid me, that I will not come back for the baby again. See, I'm not coming to take the baby. If I take the baby, what will I feed the baby with? I don't even have one naira. Please, who are you? Do I know you from somewhere? Auntie, have I changed so much? I'm the pregnant girl that you met in the street. You paid me that I should have baby for you. I'm a German now. So you recognize her. So this confirms the truth then. Auntie, are you a twin? Tara. What is she saying? I don't know what your, your, your barren, frustrated wife is saying. I don't know what she's talking about. Liar! I have evidence and information. Desmond, the child that has made you a coward is not yours. Clara, what's she saying? I don't know what your barren, frustrated wife is talking about. Oh, wow. Maybe a DNA test will prove that you never conceived in the first place. You faked a medical report and I flew you abroad thinking you were pregnant. And then you arranged with this woman here to buy her child because you knew she did not have money to raise her child. Like, I'm even curious right now, how did you manage to forge the baby's US passport? That means you must be a hardened criminal to do that. Auntie Twins, this one won't want to speak this plenty English. What my kid never die? Clara. Auntie Twins. Honey, listen. Don't, okay, okay. don't, don't touch me. Let me explain. So, okay, listen. Um, I fell in love with you. And the only thing I could hold you down with, which is my pregnancy, wasn't coming through. So I, I had to fake it, okay? I didn't stay abroad for, for a long time. I, I came back a week after and I stayed in Abuja and I, and I got a friend of mine to forge the baby's US passport. But, but that does not make me worse than what Claire did. Like, I must like, have been a fool. I must have been a bloody fool. Don't touch me. Young lady, I'm, I'm sorry for all of this. You're going to have the child back, okay? Clara, you are leaving my house this very minute. This much. You are leaving my house this very minute. This will clear the Don't worry. touch me. This get a child. Let me help you and get your child back. You are leaving my house this very minute. This you are not, do you understand? You are leaving my house this very minute. Don't touch me. This, she did worse. Bring the child her. This one, like Claire did worse. If I was you, I would shut up and out. Okay? 
I will just shut up. Desmond, Don't touch me. Desmond. You guys need to forgive each other. Let peace win in your home. Hello, Claire. How are you? I appreciate your kindness. You are really of help to me in my most difficult time. I just want to use this moment to thank you and bring the good news to you. I am back with my husband now, and I am carrying his first child. After five years. Thank you once again, Jerry, for being and listening here. I'm happy for you, my friend. <laughs> 